gastritis is the basically the inflammation of the gastric mucosa gastritis simply divided into the two types chronic gastritis which further subdivided into the two type h pylori autoimmune gastritis acute gastritis the pathophysiology of the acute gastritis is basically the imbalance between the mucosal defense and acidic environment. So the, what is the mucosal defense factor? So these are the mucus layer bicarbonate ion and that are secreted by due to the prostaglandin. That is a protective factor, prostaglandin. So and the blood flow. So blood flow is also the protective factor or defensive factor because these parietal cells that are present in the stomach secrete HCL and intrinsic factor. These HCL lead to the acidic environment of the stomach and will damage the stomach mucosa. So excessive blood will observe this HCL from the stomach. And this intrinsic factor is compulsory for vitamin B12 absorption in the terminal ileum. Basically, these intrinsic factors are the vitamin B12 binding protein. And so the imbalance between these two HCL production and these protective factors will lead to the acute gastritis. So these prostaglandins are impaired, decrease in NSAIDs, intakes and sits are drugs that useful the use use for the pain relief and blood flow decrease blood flow due to burns burns patient lead to the curling ulcers of the stomachs and excessive HCL production due to the vagal stimulation, particularly due to the brain injury. So brain injury lead to the excessive stimulation of vagus and this vagal stimulation produce excessive HCL. Brain injury produce Cushing ulcer of stomach. As we know that the chronic gastritis is divided into the two types. Type B, which is a H. pylori gastritis, and type A, which is autoimmune gastritis. H. pylori gastritis is the most common gastritis, which is a 90% of the cases, while the type A is a 10% of the cases. So the chronic gastritis increases the risk of the gastric adenocarcinoma. So in case of the type A autoimmune gastritis, the autoimmune destruction of this parietal cells, when this destruction of the parietal cells takes place, this HCL is not produced and this intrinsic factor is not produced and decrease of the intrinsic factor lead to the megaloblastic anemia because the vitamin B12 is not observed in the terminal ileum and the decrease of the HCL production will lead to the Acalorohydria, decreased hydrochloric acid production. And the, another finding of the autoimmune gastritis, atrophy of the mucosa. So the, the site of the autoimmune gastritis, the body, body and the fundus of the stomach. While in case of the type BH pylori, antrum is the most common site for the type B gastritis. It increases risk of the peptic ulcer. Type B increases the risk of the peptic ulcer and malt lymphoma. So the presentation of the gastritis is epigastric pain, nausea, vomiting, hematemesis, and melina. So the diagnosis and investigation for the gastritis, serology, IgG antibody used for the screening. 
screening of gastritis urea breath test may be false negative due to PPI use proton pump inhibitors stool antigen test is the cost effective initial test to detect to detect the H. pylori, cost effective initial test, endoscopic biopsy is the gold standard. And it also useful for detect intestinal metaplasia, malt and widespread gastritis. So the treatment of the gastritis is stop intake of the causative agent like NSAIDs, alcohol, and use of antacid, sclerophate agent, H2 receptor blockers, and the PPI, proton pump inhibitors. The most important therapy is the triple therapy. The triple therapy consist of the one proton pump inhibitor like omeprazole, and other PPIs and the combination of the two antibiotic which may include amoxicillin, clithromycin and metronidazole in case of the patient is penicillin allergy we can use metronidazole in case of the penicillin and allergy penicillin allergy so this triple therapy used for two weeks and prophylactic PPI to prevent stress ulcer in a patient of ICU patients.